include everything. Hey guys, we are back in. Ooh, turn the fan on. Uh, we are back in uh, Code Code Academy. We're doing uh, the SAS mixins and the at selector. So let's go ahead and get started. Mixins are kind of like CSS style classes that you'll be uh, that you'll use. Um, you'll see right here we have the stripes class that takes in multiple parameters, and uh, you know we're doing some stuff with it. Uh, sets the background, which a whole other parameters. But anyhow, let's go ahead and uh, get started. In the main CSS inside of note card, nest and invoke the following at selector. So let's go ahead and find note card. So here's our note card. We want to nest within it, saying, look, when someone's hovering, we want to include the transform, which I believe is this mix in right here. Where did I lost my spot? Transform, and we're going to pass in a parameter here. We're going to pass in rotate negative 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and run that. Transform needs to be transform. Let's go ahead and run that. Pretty cool. And you see that it's flipping now because of it 180 degrees. So it also allows us to, we're kind of creating variables at the end of the day, um, doing this at mix in, and we're reusing them so we can use them uh, in our CSS class. So at the top, create the following mix in. Let's go ahead and collapse this out the way a little bit. So we're going to denote that by doing the at mix in, and we're going to say back face dash visibility. And because I'm a horrible typer, I'm going to go ahead and and uh, control C this in. So what we're actually putting in here are basically the parameters. What backface visibility hidden. Now, if it needs to be that for this browser specific WebKit one, I think Moz is Firefox, if I remember correctly. Um, this should inherit all the values. So they're all going to have the same value of hidden. Now we want to go ahead and call that mix in in the dot front dot back right here, and we want to nest it in there. Oh, nope, we don't need to nest it, we just need to put it in there. So we want to include what we the mix in we just created. Um, the best way to think of mix ins are they're classes for styling that typically have to do with animations and things being animated. Um, that that's at least how I think of it. And that oftentimes include the browser specific stuff. So it looks like we're good here. Uh, it's now, I believe, taking this, throwing it in there. All right, let's move on. So now it looks like we're going to be passing in parameters. So before how we set this up was that our backface visibility didn't take a parameter in. So the way that we do this is similar to how we would do a function. And we're going to pass in a parameter that we're going to call visibility. Instead of putting hidden in here, we're actually just going to put the parameter that we're passing into it as its value. Now, chances are it's probably going to be hidden, but uh, it also makes our class a lot more reusable if we need it to be something else. So now, when we go back to our uh, dot front dot back uh, nest uh, nesting that we have here, we're going to actually pass in a, a parameter here with what it is that we want. We want it to be hidden, and we're going to get the same effect. This makes our code a lot more reusable we ever don't want it to be hidden we can pass in a different value without having to change five lines of code so you also have the ability in these mixins to setting a default value the way that you would do that is you would pass in the parameter and then you put colon and we pass in a default hidden now if we go back to our um, our dot front dot back here it is and we take out this parameter uh, note that you can leave the brackets there or without it, and it will work either way. Um, 
I'm not sure what the convention is. I'd imagine just not having the brackets is probably all right. Um, but now uh, it's inheriting the hidden when no, when no parameter is provided. So a couple more examples here. All right. So in the main CSS and dots back selector, we're going to go ahead and include the following. Let's go ahead and find dot back. Here we are. And we want to include, oops, excuse me, uh, include transform rotate. 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 Uh, negative 180 degrees. And we're going to run that. Pretty cool. In addition to flipping the back, we also want to make sure that the note card preserves a 3D effect. So notice along the edges, uh, there's kind of a little shadow um, before we hover over anything. And we want to make sure that that shadow uh, flips accordingly and everything looks 3D. And uh, we're trying to make pass in a 3D effect. So we're going to add the following mix in transform style and with the parameter style. Again, because I'm uh, a little chubby fingered. I have issues. Chubby fingers is probably the wrong word. I'm just unskilled with my hands. <laughs> it's probably more realistic. So instead of actually typing all this out, we're going to go ahead and copy and paste this in here. They all do the same thing. They're all transforming the style with a parameter, but these are for browser specific models. Typically, most of these you don't need in the new versions of browsers. It's really just for the. Uh, antiquated and outdated browsers that are uh, that might need this for old versions of IE or whatever. Um, so inside the note card we're going to actually go ahead and call that. So let's go find note card. Uh, here's note card and go ahead and put it right here. And right here we want to at include transform dash style and we want to actually we don't need brackets there excuse me and we want to include preserve dash 3d it's gotta run that um, not too noticeable but uh all right next we want to create the mix in that is going to be at mix in transition and we're going to pass in the parameter that we call time again I'm going to kind of copy and paste this over add the following select their note card alright so we are going to go ahead and add the same thing to include the transition inside note card. Probably best to actually include all this stuff that we did um, in order. It'll probably more more it'll be easier to, to see. So we're gonna include the transition. And we're gonna uh, I'm gonna put first put four seconds, so or we'll put two seconds so you can kind of see what it is doing. It might be a little too quick to see otherwise. Let's see if that that's right. Uh, so you see now slow it's flipping there. Uh, the reason I'm taking the time to do this is really for me it's really helpful to change this parameter around a little bit to see exactly what it's doing. So now that we when we run this and we go over you're going to see it's much faster. Um, it helps me to kind of understand what it is I'm trying to do right now. You also have the option of putting in multiple arguments and setting default values and things of that nature. Uh, according to this, after we pass in our first parameter, we can use the dot 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 notation to just go ahead and inherit the rest as as we as we want. So we're gonna make a new list variable here. 
at the top. So we're going to do dot stripe dash properties. And we're going to say to bottom 15%. And we're also going to say blue comma white. So those are our stripe properties. Now inside the stripes mix in, let's go ahead and find that right here. Inside of the, including the stripes mix in inside of the definition selector dot definition. So let's go ahead and find that. Here we are. We want to include, add include stripes. Cool. All right, so what's going on here is we created a variable that's storing several properties now. Now, all we have to do to save us a little bit of time is we're going to say stripe dash properties dot dot dot. So basically inherit the, re inherit the properties and it's going to separate it by the commas. Everything should work accordingly. Very nice. String interpolation is the process of placing a variable string in the middle of two other strings. String interpolation. So we're putting in this variable .jpg. Okay, so we're just inheriting our file right here, and we're saying, look, the ID. It looks like we're targeting the URL, and we're setting it up like this. Okay, pr pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. So let's create a mixin now, and we're gonna go ahead and call this. Oh, edit the photo content. Photo content mix in as follows. Stripes. We have trans transform. Here we are, photo content. We want our content to take in a parameter called file. We then want the content parameter to contain the URL and the wh where is our URL going to be located? We're going to say look it's going to be located at the file parameter we're passing in dot jpeg. So now when we go to the photo CSS right here when we pass in our include photo dash content we're going to pass in a parameter so uh, in this case it'll be titan osor and it's going to go find that for us bam there's our titanosaur seven story building wow the more you know all right uh we've accomplished some fat fancy things we're now at the at selector the at selector gets the assigned value of the parent at the point where the mixin is included if there's no parent selector then it's null and sass will throw an error all right so in the main cs make the new mixin um, as you can see mixins are very important to really add some animation and cool effects to to your styling. So we're going to create the hover class mixin, or hover color mixin rather, and we're going to pass in a parameter that we call color. We're going to also pass in a at hover effect to it. So we're saying, look, when this mixin, include this mixin somewhere, and then when you hover over where that mixin is, we want you to add this effect only on hover. So it's just a uh, it's more more nesting except included within the mixin. And so we're gonna go to the at include for the dot word. Here we are. And we can do it like so. So add include hover dash color, and we're gonna pass in the parameter red. So let's go ahead and run that. And so now when we hover, it should change something to oh it's kind of hard to see but you see you see how it's turning red on when we when we hover over it but we also have this flip so I don't know really how useful that is 
All right, cool. So that was the mix in and hover. Really, the thing to take away from all of this, um, if it's kind of new, is mix ins are basically classes that we are providing parameters to. You have the ability of creating multiple parameters to store in variables and then passing that in by putting dot 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 uh, on the uh, on the variable name when passing it in as a parameter. And you also have the ability of passing in a variable and a default value if they don't pass in anything at all, such as our hidden example. So I hope you guys found this kind of helpful. I'm really enjoying SAS and I definitely encourage anyone who's styling their their websites to move away from pure CSS and go in the SAS direction because that's the way the industry is going. It's the best thing you can do. As always, thank you to everyone who supported me on Patreon. Thank you for the likes and the shares. They help a ton. If you really want to help the channel out, that's the way to do it. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Keep an eye out for it. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. My good friend Matt at Engineered Truth has a three part interview with Quincy Larson, the founder of Free Code Camp. Go ahead and check that out and you'll get a lot of really cool stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.